Welcome to a lesson that will review the properties of the angled bisectors of a triangle. There are three angled bisectors for a triangle. Looking at the diagram here, ray CE bisects angle ACB, which creates two congruent angles. This angle here is congruent to this angle here. Similarly, ray AD bisects angle A into two smaller congruent angles, so these two angles are congruent and then ray BF bisects angle B so that these two angles are congruent. When we construct the three angled bisectors of a triangle, all the bisectors will intersect at the same point. This is called the point of concurrency and it has a special name. This point right here is called the in center. This in center is equidistant from the three sides of the triangle. Remember when we refer to distance from a point to a segment, the distance would be the length of the segment that's perpendicular to the segment. So this would be a right angle here, this would be a right angle here, and this would be a right angle here. The distance is not measured along the angle bisector. And as you can see, since the in center is equidistant from the three sides of the triangle, we can construct a circle inside the triangle. So the in center is the center of what we call an inscribed circle. And we'll go ahead and finish by talking about the concurrency of angled bisectors theorem, which states that the angled bisectors of a triangle intersect in a point that is equidistant from the three sides. So we already stated this, but it's often also stated as a theorem. And again, the most important thing to remember here is that the distance from the in center here to the sides would be the length of a perpendicular segment, not the length of the angle bisectors. We're going to go ahead and stop here for this video. Next we'll take a look at constructing the angle bisectors of a triangle.